Voltric 80 E-Tune. Hello guys, here is the review of Yonex Voltric 80 E-Tune racket. The racket comes with the leather bag, it's very soft, protects the racket very well. You can see the racket bag and here's the racket. This racket has a slim stiff shaft. The frame is made from HM graphite tungsten and nano matrix. This is the 3U G5 edition of the racket and the recommended string tension is 20 LBS to 27 LBS tension. Currently I have one with 25 LBS of tension. This racket is made in Japan. The frame of this racket is isometric meaning that has a very large sweet spot and this racket is a voltage meaning that has a head heavy balance. You can use e-tune parts to tune the racket weight balance to suit your style of play. The red color thing is e-tune parts, two at the top and two at the bottom. Here is an image that shows you guys how to string Voltec 80 E-Tune racket properly. The most people didn't know this. This is recommended by Yonex on their official web page. Uh, you can see normally cross knot start at B6 but for Voltec 80 E-Tune it should start at B4. You can see in that image. The flex is stiff so it gives you a bit more weapon power. And the shaft is simply made from nano prime HM graphite. This racket just feels lots more any other racket, but lots and lots more power and control. Of course, this racket feels a bit more stable and easier to hit smashes. When compared to other previous models, the smash power and the drive speed increased. Now I'm gonna show you some clips with playing Voltage 80 E tune. I would say this is a single racket because of its head heaviness but I used it some doubles it performed very well so no doubt about that. The tri voltage system gives you more power to smash. Especially in this racket drop shots were really solid. Then the best part smashing is incredible. This racket generates so much power than any other racket. When you smash, you don't even have to jump. Here I am gonna show you a broken Voltec 80 E-Tune racket. You all know that there is always a chance that the racket will break. Uh, but it's about how you handle the racket. It's a pretty solid racket, that's for sure. Do not worry about anything, use a good grip, you will be fine. Uh, in the downside, for me the racket doesn't move as well through the air, maybe because it's a 3U weight category, which means it weights 89 grams average. I would definitely recommend this racket if you play aggressive and you like some smashing. Overall, it's a well worth head heavy racket you can buy. Uh, my rating is 4.5 star. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe my channel.